everybody in here just sitting in front of the tiny house watching my chickens don't know, even know where they're at they're out somewhere having my coffee iced coffee again today it has been sweltering hot um, it is unprecedented heat there's a heat advisory until well tomorrow I think tomorrow late evening but it's still gonna be up in the high 80s so um, and I can hardly see myself because I'm in the shade but that's where I'm staying so anyhow, yep, the situation has been resolved with what that was stressing me out, so that's good. Um, and I've been getting some birthday prezzies, so I'm going to share those with you right now. Now, I'm sorry, you don't get to see me go, shh, shh, um, because I already opened them. I'm so bad, it's not even my birthday yet, but, oh, uh, and it's hot. Oh, uh, but I already opened them, so I'm going to show you what they are. <laughs> had put I'm trying to save up for a generator and I am I've already um, like a dollar a day basically putting it in my Amazon account to save up for a generator and the one that I want is a champion model I think it's like 4250 peak 3800 running uh, it needs to be kind of that high to be able to run an air conditioner and they're kind of pricey because the one that I want is dual fuel it will take propane, it will take gasoline, and it's electric start. And the reason why I want a, an electric start one is because as I get older, it's going to be harder and harder to crank that, that thing up and get it going. So, um, on my Amazon wish list, I put down that I need 40 of these, 40 $15 Amazon gift cards, and four people have already sent them. Um, they are all from Anonymous, except for one, and I'm not going to say the full name because I'm not sure if they want me to say it, so... There's one from MS, thank you. And look at, they're in these cute little things. I haven't even opened them yet because I don't wanna open them until I've got enough and then I can just put them all in at once. So one from MS and then three more from anonymous people. So I have $60 plus the 20 some odd dollars that I've been saving up $1 a day um, in my Amazon basically realm that I can use for the generator. So thank you, thank you MS, and thank you to the anonymous people that sent them. Um, I'm on my way, I'm gonna get it. I may link to the generator uh, down below too so you can check out what it is. It's a champion, they're very good models, and uh, this is a good one. Okay, next, the lovely Miss Margaret Heathcote sent me a beautiful, beautiful card. And in it, there was a Visa gift card. I'm not going to show you the amount, <laughs> but you can tell. I can tell you one thing for sure. I put all of it in for gas, and it came on the perfect day because it was so hot. And I can just put Papa in the truck and go driving around, turn on the air conditioner. I did that all day yesterday, and um, it was nice. We went and got lunch and sat at Chickasaw State Park in the shade and ate it in the truck, in the air conditioning. Um, so that was beautiful. Thank you so much, Margaret. You are such a sweetheart. Um, and, this, and this card is just really, really beautiful. Um, so let me put this away. Yeah, that was very instrumental in my comfort yesterday, that's for sure, and going forward too. Okay, I had put on my uh, Amazon wish list Tractor Supply Company gift cards, $25 a piece. A lovely anonymous person got me three of them. So yesterday, one of the other things Pop and I did, we went to Tractor Supply Company and got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff that we needed, like good dog food. <laughs> I had been kind of buying cheap dog food for Papa, and, um, you know, he just he doesn't do very well on it. So I got a 52-pound bag of the dog food, that he likes. I got a, I think a 40 or 50 pound bag of chicken scratch. I got some chicken treats. I got some dog chews for Papa. And here's another thing that I got. I got this big old tarp. You know why? Well, I'm gonna show you why in a second. It's ugh, frustrating, but I needed to get this. Um, oh, also, my uh, mom and dad sent me a card, a beautiful, heartwarming, thoughtful card, and 
Well, I'll just say that my parents are amazing. All right, let's just let's just all agree to agree that my parents are amazing. And so my mom told me that dad was in the store and saw this magazine and picked it out. And he said, my mom said that he said that I'm sending that to Anne for her birthday. Look at this. That is very cool. Organic gardening grow anywhere. And I love the way it looks. Look at the green and the green boots with the flowers coming out of it. And it has all sorts of tips and suggestions on growing organic garden bed type stuff. And next year, I'm going to be going to, I'm going to get away from these small pots. Because when it gets this hot outside, even though I've grown successfully in containers before, with how hot it's been here lately, the smaller containers heat up too much and the plants just die. They can't survive. If you've got garden beds that have more soil and where the roots can go down deeper, I think you're going to have a better chance with your plants. So next year, it's going to be cinder block garden beds. Basically, that's what I'm going to do. So thank you, Mom and Dad, and thank you for everything. And um, I love you guys, and I can't wait till you come down here and visit again. Um, gosh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, my gosh. I've just been given so much lately. Oh, I got a PayPal donation. That'll be at the end. Um, the person wants to remain anonymous, but thank you so much. It uh, really comes in handy and right on, right on time. Um, so today, well, I got to show you why I had to buy that tarp. And I do know that I'm going to run my neighbor into town. And uh, who knows what else. I don't know that there's going to be a whole lot going on for the next few days because it's just too hot. I've managed to take care of the chickens and just keep Papa and I cool enough so that we don't faint. Um, so who knows? Who knows? So let me go show you why I had to get that tarp. Take a look at that. Yeah, that's not going to capture any rain anytime soon. The tarp was starting to fray anyhow. Um, and I don't know if something came down through it, but my I suspect that it's because it was rubbing up against these sharp edges and something may have came down through here although I'm not seeing anything down there so I need to redo this whole thing it was time anyhow and luckily I've got that nice big tarp now the tarp that I got is heavier duty than this one is so it last uh, should last a little bit longer but I'm also considering doing something else up there like some sort of a gutter thing I don't know if I can accomplish it I've got this piece of siding here and I've got all these scrap pieces, and somebody had already kind of shaped that into a little roundy thing. So I don't know if there's something that I can actually do with this. You know, bend it, shape it, uh, put it up there, cut a hole in it, bring it down somehow or the other. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. But um, at the very least, I need to get that tarp up there so I can capture rain when it starts raining again. While we're at it, why don't I show you some weird stuff that's growing in my garden? I do not remember planting these. Okay, you know, I thought this was a zucchini plant. This is not a zucchini plant. It's, a, it's some kind of squash. <laughs> doesn't look like zucchini that I've ever saw. It doesn't look like a spaghetti squash. I mean, it could be. It looks more like a pumpkin. And look, I've got another one over here. I can't believe it. What is it? Is that just a pumpkin? Is that what it is? It is, a, is it just a pumpkin? I mean, it kind of started out yellow. It didn't start out green. Don't pumpkins start green and then ripen? I have no idea what these are, you guys. Some kind of squash. Definitely not zucchini. I do not see one single zucchini growing anywhere out here. But this squash plant is beginning to sprawl. i got to water these today. And check this out. Okay, so this is kind of death row as well, as far as plants are concerned. The onions are starting to grow, but these green peppers, they've bounced back and they're starting to grow. Oh my gosh, look at those poor tomato plants all kind of sprawled over like that. Remember these passion fruit vine that I thought were gonna die? Well, they are taking off. They're gonna be just fine. Look at this one. This is the one that was doing the worst. And it's spreading all over the place. I'm not going to pull it off. It can just spread wherever it wants to. And then this one over here is doing really well too. And these passion fruit vines that I planted out here in front of the tiny house are also flourishing. 
So I'm just going to let them grow. I'm not going to transplant any more this year. I'm going to see how well these spread because I would like it to be spread all around this fence. Everywhere you look, passion fruit vines. So they are surviving, they're thriving, and I'm very pleased with that. Nothing else is though. <laughs> look at this. This is death row, like I said. Death row! Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get anything out of these plants anymore. Um, I do need to water these. The cayennes are still hanging on, but I don't know if they're going to produce any more cayenne. Um, these, I think those are, yeah, those are banana peppers. They're toast. They're toast. I got one more jalapeno pepper plant that's giving me stuff, and I think that one's done. But my herbs are doing good, pretty good. I've been uh, pinching off them right and left, and they just keep growing back right and left. So at least I've got the herb action going on, some cayenne peppers, and... These are doing okay. I do have some peppers that are growing on them. They're not very big yet. I have harvested a few peppers and that's great, but the chickens have gotten back in here a couple times and they love to peck these peppers off the vine and eat them. So yeah, that kind of makes me a little bit mad. And uh, yeah, these aren't doing so hot. So I'm gonna figure out something else for next year. Look at Papa, trying to stay cool. He's such a good boy. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.